Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add Equin to Google Sites. So after watching this tutorial, you'll be able to incorporate the products on your Equin store with Google Sites. So you'll be able to convert your Google Sites website into an e-commerce store. The first thing you will need to do is sign up on Equin.com. And to create an account on Equin is quite easy. All you'll need to do is go on Equin and then from there you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, the next step is to add products to your Equin website. So if you would like to add physical products or so on, all you'll need to do is go onto the left hand menu option and you are going to hover over catalogs, then you are going to tap on products. After tapping on products, you'll tap on add new product. And once you have tapped on add new product, if you are planning to sell a physical product, you'll simply upload the product image, add the name right there and description. And once you are finished, you'll simply tap on save. But if you are planning to do e-commerce or drop shipping, all you'll need to do once on the left hand menu option, you're going to scroll down until you see apps right here. You're going to tap on app market. After selecting app market, you'll be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do is select drop shipping. Once you have selected drop shipping, you'll be redirected to this page. And if you would like to do print on demand, you can do that by simply adding the printful app. But if you would like to import stuff from AliExpress, all you'll need to do is tap on sub drop shipping. And it is a completely free app. Once you have tapped on sub drop shipping, you'll be redirected to a new page and all you'll need to do is tap on install. Once you have selected install, you're going to sign up and then from there you'll be able to add products from AliExpress onto your store. It is quite straightforward. Now, once you have added the products, and for this example, I added some products as you can see right here from Printful. So you can see Printful right there. I created this bag. And to do this is quite straightforward. Once you have signed up with Equin and Printful, you'll be able to add products so that you can add your design. So all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and select product catalog. And from there, you'll be able to add products. But after doing all of that and you have added your products, all you'll need to do now is go onto Google Sites. Once on Google Sites, you are going to open it up. Then from here, you can choose to either create a website from blank or you can use any one of their templates by tapping on template gallery. Then you'll be able to choose from any one of these templates. But let's say for example sake, I choose to create one from blank. So I'll simply tap on blank. Once you have tapped on blank or once you have reached the page that you would like to add your store on back into Equid. So you want to go back into Equid. So let's go back right here. Once back in Equid, you're going to go to the left hand menu option right where you see sales channel and you're going to hover over a website. Then you're going to tap on overview. After tapping on overview, you will be redirected to a new page. And all I want you to do now is simply scroll down. So let's scroll down real quick. After you have scrolled down, you will see the option to add your store to one more website. You are going to tap on that. Then after you have tapped on that, what I want you to do now is right where you see add Equin to your custom website using a widget. You are going to tap right there. Then you are going to tap on copy code to clipboard. Then once the code has been copied, so you are going to tap on copy right here. You have copied the code. You are going to go back into Google Sites. And from here, I want you to tap on pages in the top right hand corner. After selecting pages, you are going to tap on the plus. Then you are going to select right where you see full page embed. So you want to select full page embed right here. Then you are going to add the name. So I'm going to simply type in store. So this page will be called store. Then I'm going to tap on done. 
then you'll see the option add embed you're going to tap on that then you are going to select embed code and you are going to paste the code right here that you have copied once you have pasted the code you are going to tap on next then you are going to see a preview of how it looks as you can see right here so this is my store my equid store as you can see right there then all you'll have to do now is tap on insert and once you have tapped on insert your entire equid store all of the products will be imported onto google sites as you can see right here and that is it you can see it right there and they can sort it so you'll have your own page that you can edit and you can add your display logo and so on then you will have your store page right here once someone taps on store they will see the products that are on your equid store as you can see right here so if they want to make a purchase, all they'll have to do is simply tap on the item to make a purchase. And by the way, any changes you make on Equin will revert. Any changes you make on Equin will also affect this store right here. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you are going to choose your website URL and you'll simply tap on publish. So let's say I want this to be called simple store. So let me do that real quick. Once that is available, let me see if that is available. Then I'll tap on publish and you can see it is publishing and it has now been published. So if I would like to view it, all I have to do right here is tap on view published store and give it a few seconds. Then from there, you will be able to see the products as you can see right here. And if someone taps on one of the product, they'll be redirected to the product page. And then from there, they can tap on add to bag and they'll be able to make a purchase. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.